Right, Star Trek's workplace sitcom gets development update from Lower Deck Star. It's been such a joy. That's from episode one, isn't it? The very first episode where she gets in with the bat left and I got really angry. <laughs> I did. Right, planned Star Trek workplace sitcom gets exciting development update from Lower Decks cast member Tony Newsom. People were saying it's probably not going to happen, on not there, this? The Star Trek franchise was created by Gene Roddenberry and debuted on NBC in 1966, becoming a huge hit. Except it wasn't, was it? It wasn't a huge hit. It was always on the verge of cancellation. It would have hit afterward in uh, syndication. But anyway, and developing into one of the most iconic and beloved franchises of all time. After 12 years off the small screen, Paramount Network relaunched the franchise in 2017 with Star Trek Bloody Discovery. Uh, I liked season one, I must admit. Which was positively received. What are they talking about? Are they making things up? And was followed by other successful shows, including Picard. The Prodigy, which was so successful they got rid of it. Sold it off to Netflix. Strange New Worlds, which I do like. And probably because of all the hot chicks that's in there. I'm a dirty old man. And the animated show Lower Decks. Pardon me. With further shows and movies planned. Uh, Wingress says there was a Trek convention thing this weekend. My friend went... And his main takeaway was that pretty much everyone said legacy isn't going to happen at all. You mean the the people, the insiders, you know, the guests from Star Trek, they were saying legacy is not going to happen. We'll see. I'm still hoping for my mid-2025 <laughs> thing, even if it's just an announcement. In an interview with Collider, Newsom provides an update on the planned unnamed live-action Star Trek sitcom that she's developing and speaks about the chances of the show being made on Paramount+. Plus. I said they said it's a workplace. Is it going to be like The Office, then? Do you reckon? Like a, as though there's like a camera crew following them round, so there's going to be lots of glances into camera and stuff. Uh, anyway. Uh, the actress, who also serves as a writer on the upcoming Star Trek Starfleet Academy... Reveals that she would love to include some Lower Decks Easter eggs on, in the upcoming show and states that she's confident the show will come to fruition as long as Paramount is happy with her creative direction. Check out Newsom's comments below. Right, we will do that. Uh, single women seeking older men. Because <laughs> uh, I said I'm a dirty old man, it meant that ad pop up. Anyway, quote, All I can share with you is that we keep writing it and we keep turning things in. And they keep saying, please keep writing. So long as they allow us to do that and they don't say, stop, close your computers and go home. We'll continue making it. And yeah, as long as they don't tell me, please shut your laptop and throw it in the sea. I will keep working on it. It's been such a joy. I love Justin Simeon with all my heart. I can't wait to hopefully keep doing it. Is that the update then? Can't wait to hopefully keep doing it. That doesn't fill me with, uh, you know, uh, a lot of confidence. Skipping over that. Of course, and there she is, uh, in the uh, Strange New Worlds episode, the live-action crossover. Of course, as Newsom suggests, the network will need to be happy with the creative direction of the show, particularly because developing a Star Trek sitcom is already a big risk. But it does seem that Paramount is allowing her to map a creative direction without too much interference, seemingly giving the green light to continue if they're happy with what Newsom and her team are producing. No, they've just not heard anything. That, that's all she's saying. So, you know, she might she might not know. But there might be an announcement. Uh, you know, because they always say, oh, we heard, we heard about it when we read it on social media. There'll be something like that that happens. But it's not happening. But anyway. Speaking of Paramount, says Wing Grace, what happened to that merger thing? Kind of gone quiet in front of scenes and all the Rage channels stopped covering it too. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's just like behind the scenes stuff going on now, isn't it? Dotting the I's and crossing the T's and all that stuff. What are you up to? Princess is looking at something. What are you looking at? Can you get in? Can you manage? Yeah, of course you can. Where were we? Uh, this should be a positive factor for the upcoming... Uh, for upcoming Star Trek movies and TV shows and suggest that the network is open to leaving major creative choices to its writers and directors. No, she just said 
if I get past my new future girlfriend. Um, where is it? Um, where is it now? Um, so long as they allow us to do that and they don't say stop, close your computers, we'll keep making it. She say, and they keep saying, please keep writing. So, right, fair enough, there is that then, isn't there? There is that. But are they really saying that, or they're just not saying anything, and they're just carrying on just in case? Is it Mrs. Toyji? <laughs> oh, dear. What next? What's this one? Intermittent fasting basics for men, because they know I've been on the weight management course thing. But I've not. I've only spoken about, you know, probably as I'm walking about, I've been saying to her, Aiden, I'm off my weight, weight, weight management course. Won't be long. Because it listens to you. <sighs> no details are known about the show as of yet, but Newsom's involvement with both Lower Decks and Starfleet Academy... Uh, by the way, I've lost... Um, seven kilos. So there we go. Uh, which is about a stone. About a stone. I've lost 14 pounds-ish. Um, anyway. Um, not fourteen pounds. Um, yeah, fourteen pounds. Yeah. Where are we? Uh, no details are known about the show as of yet, but Newsom's involvement with both Lower Decks and Starfleet Academy will make her something of a franchise veteran, as well as giving her the platform for blending both comedy and drama and perfecting her role as a performer and writer, which is going to prove invaluable for the franchise's first ever live-action sitcom. The subjective nature of comedy means it is always best to leave the writers to do their own thing, and Paramount clearly trusts Newsom and her team to get the job done. We'll see. Um, I hope you'll find it soon. <laughs> oh dear. Congrats! Uh, our verdict on whether Star Trek's live-action sitcom will happen. What the hell is this? What's going on here? Oh, is this from um, Section 31? It must be. Stay at that. <sighs> Bloody awful. <laughs> it does, though, doesn't it? It does. Michelle Yeoh's Star Trek movie, Section 31, will continue the franchise's movie releases... But with shows like Picard and Discovery having come to an end and Lower Decks in the middle of its final season, Paramount will be looking to develop future TV projects to keep the universe evolving. I think a sitcom is a big risk for the Star Trek franchise and one that will either be a huge success or backfire spectacularly. But it shows a bold move from the network and provides viewers with something unique and original for the future of Star Trek. Source Collide. Um, not bothered about that. I don't know, if they do it, I think if they do it in, like, The Office, if it does get made, and if it's like The Office, like I say, like a, as though it's like a, there's a camera crew following them round or whatever, um, that could be interesting, that could be interesting. Uh, wow, so it either works or it doesn't, hot take, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. It's such a joy, and the, they've not told them to close their computers yet. Just keep writing, or please keep writing. But we're not going to pay you <laughs> yet. Yeah. So there we go. Mm -hmm.